Ms. Peter Zalmayev. I am a board member of the American Jewish Committee, director of the Eurasian Democracy Initiative, and I'm an, an alum of SIPA and a native of Donetsk, which is in the um, occupied territory of eastern Ukraine. We, as uh, Ukrainian Americans and as members of the American Jewish community, we appreciate uh, all that you've done in the cause of inter-ethnic harmony in Ukraine, what you've done uh, as a leader in, you know, in the face of the greatest adversity that Ukraine has faced in its post-Soviet history. You know, as President Vladimir Putin demonstrated in his um, dem diplomatic outreach uh, in the last few days, he's very eager to shift the world's attention away from the fiasco that Russia has suffered in Ukraine and uh, away from that and to the Middle East, to Syria. So my question is, uh, what difficulties have you encountered in trying uh, to bring the attention uh, back to Ukraine, to keep it there, and what would you suggest that we do as members of the Ukrainian-American community, as Colombia, to help you with that task? Thank you. First of all, thank you for being here today. This demonstrating that you are deeply involved in the Ukrainian matter. Frankly speaking, when we start this fighting against Russian aggression, that was one of the most difficult times in my life. We pay a huge price for that. We lost 2,144 soldiers. 6,000 civilians were killed by Russian soldiers or by Russian weapons. Most of them are from Donetsk. And we should demonstrate that we fighting for our own land. We have an aggression from the Russian side. We should create the global coalition. And the, my answer would be very simple. Strategically, globally, we need uh, unity and solidarity. And for every single particular case, we need the assistance for Ukraine. Because every single investment uh, which invest money to Ukraine, uh, the assistance we receive from our partners, this is not just an assistance for Ukraine. This is investing in the global security. If you're asking me what exactly we're waiting for from, for example, United States now, I think we need four things. Point number one, we need a strong political support. The same way like it was demonstrated yesterday in the speech of United States President. Point number two, we need a strong financial support. Why? Because you know better than anybody that on Donbass, we are concentrated 25% of our industrial output. It is blocked. None of the factory is working. 10% is physically destroyed. And we need to, to revive our economy. And I am proud to, to give you this information that under the prognosis of the International Monetary Fund and World Bank, we expect in the year 2000. 16, the economic growth. Third, we need advisory assistance for the reform. We have no right to make any mistake. We should build up for a very uh, short period of time absolutely new country. And that's why immediately after two months when I was a president, I signed up the association agreement with the European Union. One year ago, synchronously, we ratified it to in, together with the European Parliament. And now we are implementing reform in every uh, single sphere, adapting our legislation with the European Union. Me, together with the Ukrainian people, should bring country to Europe. What is significant changes happening in Ukraine? Changes in mind. Because can you imagine that two years ago, only 16% of the Ukrainians support integration Ukraine with NATO. One year ago, this figure was 50%. Today, this figure is 62%. And having such an overwhelming support by Ukrainian people, we should win. And in that case, what I need from you? Find out the effective sector when you personally can be helpful for Ukraine. We need your assistance. We need your help. 
and thank you for being so open for us. And by the way, for the cooperation with the Jewish organization, yesterday I have a meeting with the American representative of Jewish organization, and I think that it is also a very symbolic thing to establish the absolutely effective form of the cooperation with the Jewish organization. Yesterday, it was the 71st anniversary of the Babi Yar, 28th of September. And we agreed on that on the 75th anniversary, we'll be built up together with them, with my personal participation, absolutely new museum of the Babi Yar, which would be symbol of the tolerance of the new Ukrainian state. Thank you. Thank you. Next question on this side, please. Yes. Good evening.